Hi, welcome back to the Dylan Rounds case and the community discussions. Today we're going to be covering a range of stuff from Dylan Rounds information going about in recent time, my predictions around it, as well as some other things, the Shack Lady's return and some pointers for her, so hopefully she better be here, um, as well as like some dodgy things going on and as well maybe map time just see what the internet connection is like throughout this video okay one thing i want to make note of is i think the internet might be might be fixed tomorrow so i can be um i'll be able to do like more of the focused videos i don't want to risk it today like i wanted to do the Don Haitley map one of the other Oakley in Idaho, yeah, but because Google Earth requires internet connection and if the internet connection is not good, it will not process, so visually on the maps it doesn't always load in. You're familiar with that in my previous videos at times where it was blurry. I don't want piss poor quality, I want it to be somewhat, you know, good and clear because it's an important video. So that will be coming soon. Today, we can just take a little step back, but, you know, focus down on some important points regarding the Dylan Rounds case. So hopefully you're ready for this, okay? Bear in mind, if you didn't check out my previous video, it's quite an important one regarding Candice Cooley being called a liar and Ty Corbin being called out by Lance Kelly and Lance Kelly giving his points of view with the search and you know, for Dylan. If you haven't checked it out, there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment section. Make sure to watch it after watching this, okay? And the reason why we may do a map analysis today, um, some unrelated things, because, you know, when there's rats, there's um, a few issues. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if there's any more mouse traps laid out or repellent, but you know, there's always, there's always, there's always hope, right? When this is, you know, in the air, waving about, there is always hope. Now, I know a person called Cindy, not that Cindy, but the other Cindy. <laughs> it gets a bit confusing when there's people with the same names. Cindy Oswald, Cindy Osvild, however you say their name. They said they were going to get some greasy bacon and tickle me with it. I don't know how that would go. Um, is the bacon raw or is it cooked? Feel free to let me know if uh, you do respond because it'll be interesting to find out. As for Indiana, looks like Wes and all his growling is paying off, whether it be some kind of like werewolf ritual it's catched indiana's attention and uh, who knows what will happen next there we go so we're turning back to this because this is the important part there needs to be another whipping session can't hide it things need whipping right now who was it now who was it now in the chat that said whip it out hmm who said that yeah, yeah, just Raph uh, walks around, yeah. Whoa, there you go, I've just whipped it out. No, 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 how could you think that? EJ, you, no matter where you are, you don't just go walking around, you know, walk around and think, hmm, I'm going to whip it out. Oh, sorry, I, ju I just caught your face. Sorry, I caught your beautiful, smooth face when I whipped it out. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. That is low standards. You do not whip it out, okay? There are better methods and techniques, okay? You don't whip it out. You gently grasp and pull it out. There's a difference between whipping it out and pulling it out, okay? And I don't mean yank it out like that because you'll end up hitting the person nearest to you behind you. And if you whip it out, you'll, you'll slap the person in front, right? It can, have its, it can have an imagination on its own, so you need to tame it. If you don't tame your whip, 
it might accidentally slap people, right? And not everyone wants slapping with your object, you know what I'm saying? So, you do it in the formal way, okay? Linda, I hope you're taking notes. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot you're, you're making up for that that glass you were supposed to be drinking last night when I told you to put the glass down because we've not finished yet. Don't worry, Linda. Don't worry, Linda. You carry on drinking that. It's fine. It's fine. I understand. So what you do, almost like, you know, a sword or some kind of fencing, you slowly pull it out. There you go. And as you pull it out, it's dangling. You know, it's pointing down, not up. So look, and I'll do it even in slow motion so you, you fully understand the situation. Pull it out. Look, it's droopy. It's dangling. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to hurt anyone. It's not going to harm anyone. You rotate it around. And then if you want to put your other hand on it, there you go. You see, it's under control. It's not going to go really anywhere. It's not loose. It's not going to run away. You're in control of it. So whoever in the chat last night said whip it out all over the place, naughty advice, not helpful. Okay. Now, just a quick whip, right? It's necessary at this point. It really is. So, oh, there's a little rat scuttling about. Yeah, you want it? You want it? Oh, yeah. Yes, you, you needed that. And you as well, a little underarm. Oh, yeah. There we go. You as well? Come on. You know, 100% accuracy. Not missing this time. You over there? Yeah, come on, boy. Come on, big boy. Oh, yeah. You as well? Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Come on. Yeah? You like that? Yeah? You want more? Yeah. You're not getting more. Yeah. You can't ask for it. Not at all. I think that's resolved the issue for now. You see, anyone that walks in at any point around this time will be very, very confused, maybe disturbed, but it's just, it's just a live piece of art expressing one's emotions. Yeah. No, it's not. It's dealing with resistance, right? Okay, everyone has different methods. This is mine. So I think we should move on to the Dylan Rounds discussion right now in all fairness um, also before we do proceed shout out to indiana for the super chat last night it's uh, good of them it's very good of the people that have done the super chats or the super thanks in recent time do appreciate it and i don't know why but just like when it appears on screen i don't know if it's the animation or the coloring of it because it's quite bright it does catch your eye it's quite satisfying how it just pops up Kind of like a, an achievement or some kind of notification when you're playing a video game and it just magically pops up because you're not expecting it. So it's, it's a nice surprise, which is positive. Anyway, feel free to share your thoughts, opinions down below in the live chat as we do go along in this video. Bear in mind, it might not be the longest of videos this because I'm taking in mind the Wi-Fi with it being a little bit dodgy it will upload the video slower. So if I want it out tonight, it needs to be of a certain length, okay? So as for Dylan Round's information, okay, it seems to be talked about, I guess, on Jim Terry's channel and maybe a bit on Salty Pancake's channel. Bear in mind, uh, Kurt Wadsworth showing up on the Shack Ladies, which, you know, at the moment is publicly watchable, which is a positive. I will take a look at that when I have time, for sure. Um, but as for pancakes and uh, Jim Terry's there locked behind a paywall, uh, one of the situations where some people will believe it, other people won't. Some people who don't have access to it for whatever reason, whether it be because they just can't or they just don't want to, you know, we can only kind of like listen in to rumours spread about by others, just how it is, right? But one of the points that was mentioned, and I am thinking of doing some kind of map analysis if possible is it light lidar radar late lidar i still can't say the word a plane that goes over which can scan um i think it's to do with like the ground scanning the ground see if there's anyone buried 
almost like um, like what the drones can do, I think. I don't know about the soil disturbance part, but it can scan the area. Uh, but on a much bigger scale, because it's on a plane, right? That's what they were talking about recently on Jim Terry's channel, which was um, discussed. I heard, I heard um, Ty Corbin first mention it when he called in, right? Flying over Candice Cooley's property. And uh, I did briefly bring this up in one of my previous videos. The idea I was thinking of was, is it possible to do a map analysis of Candice Cooley's house where she lives? Now, the most important thing is, if you know the location, let's say, but it's not public information, then it's not worth doing. You know what I'm saying? If it's public information and it's very accessible, and it's very public, you're not going against any guidelines. I say this up front because if you used to do like a map analysis to see where their location is, how far away is it from Dylan's place of living, map the distance out, the timing possibly, try and tie it in with Dylan going missing, that maybe someone or her took Dylan out from what other people have said, and then buried Dylan in her own backyard. You did a map analysis of that, you could try and break it down and depict the story. But I don't have the location of where she's at, okay? Because I've not really... Well, actually, that's the thing. I did um, find one thing online to do Candy Cooley, but it was given, like, a past address, and I think it was more to do with a business, not an actual home, so... It didn't really reveal anything new, right? So they must have moved around since. But if there's any public information regarding uh, Candice Cooley, her whereabouts, it sounds, it do, understandably, it does sound weird saying that, but I'm just trying to associate it with tying in with this recent information said, passed on by Ty Corbin, Jim Terry, Jim Terry reaching out to some mechanic or something, that works for um, the military or some kind of air force, whatever that may be, about this plane flying over, which was, what was it, 40 to 54 weeks ago. So it's some time ago. And, you know, why would you be flying over the victim's family? Like, why? Unless you suspected something. So... It's a potential video idea, but because of the person who's involved, Candice Cooley, things could get a little bit messy, right? You know, if she um, doesn't approve of certain people, and maybe the, down the line she might, you know, I don't know how you'd call it, get revenge or follow things up, let's say. Um, it's probably best not being in the firing line, right? So you you got to kind of play it safe so you, you don't dig yourself too much into a hole or compromise yourself. So that's just like a rough video concept. My overall thoughts on this information, though, that plane flew over many, many weeks ago. It's understandable, right? Um, was it military... Was it all planned together? Some private company? Bob from the Shack Lady suggested that. Jim Terry, I think, agreed along with that concept, a private company. Now, where did, where did this private company come from to get attached to the Dylan Rounds case? And who told them to fly over that area where Candice Cooley lives? Are they doing it out of free will? Did someone call in? Did someone give a tip off? Who? Who caused it in the first place? That's what I'm interested in. Because there must be some motive behind it for why they would think, right, we need to go to where Candice Cooley is at and scan the area. I mean, in other cases, there's been times where a family member has been responsible for taking out another family member or a friend, you know, because they know each other. It tends to be that, like, pattern. And then they find, oh, they've been buried in the back garden or in a um, basement, ground, a freezer. Wacky stuff like that. So, there you go. 
But as for that information, and I'm sure some other bits of info in between, my predictions are, slash my opinions are, that what we are now seeing is a return to what we've previously experienced a couple of months ago. And it's the question of which way is it going to go this time? Is it going to go down the path of lots of rumours and lots of talking, but not much action or real outcome? Or is it going to be one of those things where it's talked about back forth, back forth, confusion, confusion, then it dies down and then it comes out as the truth down the line. And I'll give you an example of that. So in the past, you remember when different channels were saying, oh yeah, Dylan's phone has been found. And then other people saying, no, it hasn't. Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. What are you meant to believe? Sure, you can have these people have been, you sure you can have these people have been, uh, little conversations behind closed doors with some other contacts externally and drip feeding information. But are you supposed to take that serious? Are you supposed to like listen to them or how are you? Are you restricted? You know, you're just supposed to trust what someone says. So that's what happened. Um, eventually it kind of dispersed. People stopped talking about it. Dylan's phone being found. Uh, some people were still saying it's not been found. Fast forward a month on or so, a bit longer, Candice Cooley in one of her interviews does bring up the fact that Dylan's phone was found in the pond. So what you could say is if you revert back to all those rumours, it was actually the truth. That's one way of looking at it. So could that be applied now with... You know, Jim Terry being focused on the Dylan Rounds case, Salty Pancakes, from the looks of it, returning back, Shack Lady returning back, and on all the information is being passed around, distributed to one another, triangular effect, with their own backdoor contacts. Is it going to be the same outcome where things have been talked about, where it'd be a new lead, a new suspect, evidence found? Yes, no, yes, no, switch and change of information. And down the line, it quietens down. Candy Scully does another interview, an update, and brings it into light, some of that stuff talked about. Do you think that's what will happen? Or will it just simply be rumours, 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 and it doesn't really get anywhere? I know some people have said, you know, what are you supposed to believe now in this case? So it makes it harder to trust people, trust information, yeah. Some people are just very wary from the beginning, which is understandable. Um, I don't think you can say everything is a rumour, right? Because, you know, it's, it's a fact. It's a fact that I've got a belt, you know. It's a fact that whipping takes place here. It's a fact some people uh, ask for more. It's a fact that there are times of dodgy map analysis. There is a fact that there are rats within the... Um, the case. There are facts that there is resistance in the case. There are facts that there are fake impersonation desperate accounts present. Um, there are facts that that's the grain shed there and then five miles east is Dylan's farm. You know that that level. Okay you put aside some of the, the funny piss take situations when looking at Google Earth 2020, 2019, or a bit before that, you know, historically, you can say it's a fact that that's Brenner's trailer in 2019 um, in Montello, Nevada, in good condition. Then it's a fact now that his trailer has burned down with time, like a year ago or so, in which when you see his trailer now, as documented by Lance Kelly and Kimber, it's burned down. That's a fact. It's a fact that... Jim Brenner's trailer has burnt down. Okay? So not everything is a rumour, right? Not everything. Anything else? Um, not that I can think of, but I'm just going to be kind of wary with the information passed about. I still have some additional videos to cover, as said, right? Follow a certain order. And then once they're completed, uploaded... If there are any other follow-ons, add-ons, I will do so. If not, then I'll try and take a look at some of this 
information or rumours being passed about, right? Um, it'd be interesting to see if there was any other forums, right? Just a quick question to you who's watching right now. Do you have any suggestions of forums on the internet? And I don't exactly mean Reddit, because Reddit is very limited and you have to have an account with them. It's become very restrictive with time. It's kind of cancer. But, and the people who are on it as well, cancer. Uh, in denial. When I was playing Maud Howe, a 2019 medieval game, the members on that page, as well as Borderlands 3, a cartoon visual style game, their own Reddit subgroup, cancer denial. I proved it with facts, stats, video footage, comparisons, and humans could not accept my reality because they are not living it. It's that concept of if you're not experiencing a problem, then it does not exist. That's the level of degeneracy within humans, right? So be put aside Reddit. If there are any other forums out there you know of, which talk about the Dylan Rounds case, which might have interesting information, if you've stumbled upon any and you want me to cover it to try and make sense of it or generate video ideas to go deeper if possible, feel free to leave the links or the name of the forums down below, okay? It came very handy, that method in the past when it came to the Kenny Veach case, so it is welcome here, provided it's not like dodgy, you know. With the Kenny Veach case, Jeff Clark introduced me to Godlike Productions. It was a bit dodgy at first, but it turned out to be okay, not much went wrong, and that's where the, I guess, the CCTV footage of Kenny supposedly 2018 originated from, where the discussions took place. Also where the discussions took place of a military drone caught on camera in the desert for the first time. And, you know, a range of other discussions and questions. And it's also a way of spreading the word, spreading awareness too, in which some of my videos were actually talked about on those forums as well as elsewhere. So it can have multiple benefits to a range of different people. So if you have any forums or been on any regarding Dylan Rounds, feel free to list them down below, okay? As you have seen recently, we have taken a look at one forum. I can't remember the name of it on the spot, but you would have seen it in my previous videos. That is slightly outdated though, isn't it? It would be nice to see an updated one, okay? Um, the way I conduct my videos, if you don't know already, I have described it in the past. It's almost like a community page but in a video format right instead of lots lots of text based based comments and posts it's put visualized into a video right and then all the ideas points opinions and comments can be shared down below and also incorporated in future videos right same stars to Kenny Veach applying it to the Dylan Brown's case okay so let's move on to the Shack ladies return so yesterday I was going to do like an update before the Shack Lady made her presence about her, you know, kind of returning and uh, the reason for her absence, right? But I had a very important video to cover yesterday, as I said earlier on. If you're just joining now and you want to check it out about Lance calling Candice Cooley a liar and calling Ty Corbin out as well as his own updates on the Dylan Brown search and what his plans are for the winter, make sure to check out my previous video down below in the pinned comment section, okay? But um, I didn't get round to doing the Shack Lady's, um, you know, response because she made her presence, I think, last night, like, so that doesn't need to be done now. So you see her presence. Some of you may have watched her video already. If you haven't, make sure to check it out. Just go on the Shack Ladies channel, her live, and it's there. Not as long as all the other videos, which is probably practical. And where do we begin first? Well, hopefully the Shack Lady is present right now. Because the Shack Lady did ask me a question and I can answer it on the spot, okay? So hopefully you are ready, Shack Lady, to listen. It sounds like I'm going to tell you off. It sounds a bit weird, that, but no, I'm, I'm not going to tell you off. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. So basically, you asked me 
what's my format of videos? It's a good style of how they're done and conducted. My videos are done as a live video premiere in which they are pre-recorded, edited, pieced together, differing videos, pieces of material. So it's a good flowing, consistent video, which doesn't have lots of umming and ahhing and losing connection and joining back like how people do with the live panels or any interference that's all cut out the bs right so it's a good flowing piece of footage which is merged in the live format in which when it's aired it's aired for the first time and people can join along and watch live hence why there is a live chat like what you'd see in a live video right so you can still engage with the viewers. You can respond back to questions in a text-based format in the live chat. You can't in the video because the video is pre-recorded, but you can still be present live watching your own video back, but mainly focusing on the chat itself. It might give you more control and focus to disperse any cancer. Let's just increase the brightness because I'm going a little bit dark. Oh my God, I've gone pale. Fuck me, I hate this when, you know, when things interfere with me. This, this is what I'm talking about. Put the light on, Tyler, bless me. There we go. Let's return back. So the Shack Lady, if you're doing a live video premiere at any point, it might allow you more control in the chat in the sense that you can focus more on the chat rather than trying to talk to your guest, talk to people, talk about things whilst trying to juggle everything, right? Although the Shack Lady did do her return video in a live live stream format, you know, you still always got the option to do a live video premiere, okay? So hopefully that answers her question, right? Um, does it completely remove toxic, dodgy people? No, but you know, it doesn't interfere with your actual video you're trying to do. Does that make sense? So if I was doing what I did in the last video where I had the notes down and I was reading them off and analysing, if I did that in a real live stream with the live chat where I was referring back to the live chat answering questions, it'd be so fragmented. It would be much longer, the video, so that would be a negative to some people. Uh, I'd be looking back and forth, looking at the chat, looking back at the bullet points, and I'm like, oh, oh you know, it, it breaks the flow. And I have noticed that within, you know, live chats and live call-ins, people talking and then suddenly looking down at the comments and saying, oh, look at what that person said. Oh, and then you start talking to them and then you end up going off on a tangent and then you've, you, you lost what you were talking about originally. So that's how the live video premiere can kind of, you know, separate that that distraction, right? That dis that's how it can be eliminated, the distraction, while still being able to engage with the audience, whilst having a polished video as well, merged as one live video premiere. Though, ultimately, how would you be able to do it if you're trying to do an interview, some kind of call-in with someone? Doesn't it have to be live? Well, in these formats, it seems to be you record live with, what is it, Streamlabs and YouTube at the same time. And then once you're finished, then you can save it and then YouTube will up, will automatically upload it or so. I think so. So, really, what you'd have to do, it'd be able to try and record it somehow a screen recorder if you got like some kind of inbuilt graphics card and you use shadow play or radian re live and screen record it in that way or if not that if it's possible to set up a camera i mean it's a kind of dodgy but do you know what um salty pancakes did in the early days when he had his camera on his table or something pointing towards a monitor whilst kurt and pancakes were on a call talking to one another and doing the interview kind of like that it might not be the most sophisticated of ways so i can understand why it's probably more practical and easier for you shack lady to do a live stream but 
if you're ever just doing a basic discussion video where you're just talking about your own thoughts and opinions, then that's probably best as a live video premiere. You know, like how I talk, you know, because I'm not talking to anyone, so I'm, I don't have to do some kind of like live manoeuvre or anything. It can just be just done in this way. So maybe it is truly one of those things where it only works or it's more practical for certain people over others, right? But I just wanted to reply back to your question, Shack Lady, so you know um, my video format and why it is the way it is. And in terms of the Dylan Rounds case and community, for the most part of it, I would say it's really only me, I'd say. It's really only me and sometimes uh, Lance Kelly from Earthworm Entertainment that do live video premieres. Lance has done live streams as well, but in terms of live video premieres, it's just really me and him. Everybody else has done live streams or just simply uploaded the video. And as said in the past, when it came to the Kenny Veach case, for nearly, well, for just about two years straight, every video I uploaded was just uploaded, not as a live video premiere, just as a video uploaded. So there was no live audience, there was no live chat. And to be honest, when I look back on that, would I return to doing it that way? Hell no. It's actually kind of dull to think of when it comes to uploading a video and then that's it till the next video. It's it's a dull feeling. But being uh, able to create a video, find it's a, a reasonable one. And as well, the times when it might be a dodgy one for people to react to and watch along, it does make it more fun, definitely. So I do prefer sticking with the live video premiere format. Though it might not always work, like if it's for Dylan Rounds, yeah, it'll probably work. There'll be quite a few people joining in and participating in the chat, but if it's an unrelated video, it will be very, very, very dead, but I still do it anyway because it's good for the small amount of people to keep on watching, which is good, and it's still more fun doing it in that way, even if it was just with one or two people watching than no one watching because it's not live. So that's my reasoning behind that. Do I think there'll be any predictions with the Shaq lady? All I'll say is, because I'm just being realistic, it wouldn't surprise me if down the line, if the Shaq lady is consistent with doing the live streams, whether it's directly to do with Dylan or just in general, you'll probably get these odd few little outbursts and arguments going on down the line. Um, Shaq lady, I guess, has made some changes talking about not doing the giveaways or the donation thing because it just causes more trouble than it's worth. So if you eliminate something like that, then that will reduce the tension and drama, which could ex escalate. Um, maybe even the length of the videos, right? Okay, your last video was, was it three hours, 50 minutes or something? That's probably a decent length, right? You know, if you do the live stream for a very long time, in the long run, it can wear you down quicker and that might have been possibly experienced by you yourself, Shack Lady. Though, with my videos, they're not as long, obviously, but they're bloody long in terms of what I was used to doing in the past, right? And especially, you know, for nearly four, well, over four months now, over four months, and most of the videos nearly an hour long. That's a lot of fucking hours. Wow. But, you know, I I can do short videos, but they're going to be very short, right? <laughs> um, but I'll still do it as um, a live video premiere. I mean, this video, I said it was going to be short, but I don't think it is now, which is kind of a, a problem for me in terms of uploading it, but that's my own fault, okay? Mm. Well, it depends if the map thing can work, because the map, the Google Earth might not work, so I'll have to just double check with that in a second. But um, it wouldn't surprise me, though, if 
I did say in the chat that there might be backstabbing down the line, and that's just a general point, a general prediction, observation. It wouldn't surprise me if it happened with certain people, or there was like a back and forth of respect, then backstab, respect, then backstab, kind of mixing and matching. And, you know, whilst it can be brushed over and think, ha, 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 oh, never mind, never mind. It's like, you know, once you get, once you get to that point where someone is cancer, they're cancer, they will always be cancer, right? When dealing with cancerous people, you treat them as if they were your patient, and that is all, right? Simple as that. So I think what we should do now, right? We had a brief talk about Dylan Rounds, the community, what could and might not happen, video idea for the future. And it's time we try and take a look at the maps if possible now. Right, here we go once again on the maps immediately. What are we going to be typing in today, Raph? Hmm? We're going to type in rats. What shall we find? Rats, tourniquets, wholesaler. Hmm. River rat. We're going to find some of them scuttling down there. Salt Lake City rat control. Yeah! Animal control servers in Taylorsville, Utah. Fantastic. This is exactly what's needed, man. You know, we got these backup defense mechanisms, but it, it, it does not help. It, 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 why am I fucking turning an African? My God, certain words equal certain accents. Self-defense mechanism, I turn into an African. Saying the name Maria, I turn into an Italian. Saying Cleo, I turn into Daddy Bear Bundy. <laughs> right, let's just fucking, let's just get on with it. There you go. We got the images. We've got multiple. Has Salty Pancakes visited one of these places before? I don't know. Yeah, look at that dodgy text. That is some bad font and advertising. But there you go. We've got the rats. We've got the rats. They've been caught. You're not scuttling away this time. No, 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 no. There's no cheese this time. You're not getting any. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, what are we naming this rat today? Have you got any names? Any suggestions in the chat? Hmm? Hmm? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think of one. He looks a little bit, or she, looks... A bit thin, scrawny, a bit scruffy, long tail. Looks a bit of a slippery individual. Mm -hmm. And we go to the bottom one. Whoa, this person's been eating a little bit too much. Look at them. They are definitely full in width and height. Yeah, okay, naughty. You know, stop eating all the food. Yeah, you've ate all the cheese and you're complaining now. Not my fault if you ate it all. Let's move on. Oh, here we go. Look at this one, trying to scuttle about. Where do you think you're going, mister? Hmm? Or Mrs. Rat? Look at you putting your hand on your mouth, trying to stop laughing. You think this is funny? Fucking hell, mate. Little rat. Try and make a fucking joke out of the situation, mate. You go running down that corner, you'll be running right into a trap. You'll be, mate, you'll be meeting your mates locked up. You will not be getting out of there. You want to fucking force this rattler, mate? No, mate. Andrew Culver's got the whole casing of it. And you know what, mate? We need fucking Kurt Wadsworth to be drinking it all night. All night. Once that happens, you might be revealing the truth. We need someone to slip up soon, mate. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this rat, look at, just look at the face. Don't be deceived by its innocent eyes. You know, just like all the fake accounts, a level of innocence, a, le a level of maybe being nice and then, oh, there you go, just changed, shape-shifted into their true form. Lucifer! Maria, sorry, sorry, Maria. There's only one Lucifer around here, right? Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, well, I guess that's the outcome, the inevitable. 
Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, no. Wait, is this hair? Wait, why is this... What? What? Wait, are they recycling rats for hair transplants? I'm kind of confused. Oh, what a carpet. A rug. A mat. A rat mat. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the picture, man. This person trying to sneak in a little room tour v picture. Yeah, it's all about rat and pest control, but no, secretly, you wanted to show what your house looks like inside. Oh my god, you're such a narcissist. How could you do that to me? What's in the background? Any dodgy stuff? Hmm? A lot of buckets. Is that a fridge? A freezer? I'm not too sure. Hmm. Okay. Carpet, I'll be honest, does look somewhat clean, so I'll, I'll allow that. Yeah, sleeping again. Uh, what's that? I don't know. Taking the pill? I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> Indiana. Indiana, stop playing hide and seek, okay? Look, there's Warlight Ref sneaking round the corner in the dark, wondering, where are you? Mm, don't run away from me. I will find you eventually. Yes. I'm sure I can hear someone scuttling about somewhere. I just can't quite point out where it's at. And then look at this. What's this? Some kind of Metal Gear Solid stealth mission. Look at him hiding about. This is exactly what's going on in the chat of times in my fucking videos. Oh yeah, don't think I didn't know. About 69 people watching and only 23 people leaving a like and 5 people commenting in the chat. Not acceptable, man. Wouldn't be surprised if some of the people lurking behind the screen are doing what this rat's doing, sitting on a box in the dark. I hope you don't feel too cold because I do not want your nipples getting too hard because that would be very unfortunate for you. What about me? Don't worry. I've got a lot of experience with hard nipples because I spend quite some time in the cold. Exactly. Video footage proves it as well. My channel. Not much I can do about it to censor the nipples. Anyway... Oh, his friends come along, popping out from the cracks and the gaps. Kind of like what Linda said with the kitchen and Joseph. You know, you got to fill those air vents in. you got to seal the holes up, because if you don't, then it's problematic. Oh, shit, I just saw the neighbour walk past whilst I was holding my nipple. Fuck. Damn it. Why, am I, why was I holding that? Well, it's because I was telling the story. So you just subconsciously do it, and that is all. Okay. Yeah, look at that little rat, or mouse, whatever it may be. His pointy nose and his pointy ears. He looks shifty. He's a dodgy person. Let's move on. Whoa, what are you doing? Gotta go fast. Come on. My God. There's some big paws. God. Here's a stuck-up listening in. Listening into the chat. Listening into... VIP membership videos. Ooh, you little spy. Naughty individual you are. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Come on, load man. I don't want the black screen of death. Oh, no. I can't believe you just done this to me. It's showing real-time footage of these bloody rats scuttling around at the bloody restaurants and fast food places we've analysed in the past. No wonder where all that thrown away dough and bread rolls go and the dodgy pizzas and the flat garlic bread. They get chucked out in the trash. So the rats come along and eat it themselves. Well, I hope you're happy with yourself. You've now got an infestation. Fucking great plague all over again. Where's the witch doctor this time? Nowhere to be seen because he's too busy treating Cleopatra in the palace. Okay. Oh, once again, you want to recycle images? Oh, yeah, look at that one. On a night spec ops nighttime mission, zero dark 30. Where's Captain Price? Where's Soap? Where's Roach? Oh no, man. Fucking Simon Ghost. Too busy camping on the fucking mountainside trying to take out people whilst quick scoping. It's not fucking.
fucking modern warfare too, man. What little kids playing the high pitched squeaky Fortnite voice. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, rats. Have standards. I think that concludes that. Really, what we have done is implemented psychological warfare upon rats of the outcome, the consequences of what can happen to those type of people. Mm -hmm. There's a squirrel running across the grass. How nice. Okay, so I think as a shorter form of video, that was actually quite a positive one. Like the coverage and the range talked. We still have more important Dylan Brown's videos to come on this channel. So make sure to be around for them. Um, is there anything left to do? Technically, because I'm sure I can hear someone calling that it's time. Time for what? I'm not quite sure. Oh, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. How are you today? What what's appears to be the case? Oh, you've got your bacon with you. Greasy. Where did you get that grease from? Indiana? Hmm. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You got... You greased the bacon from Indiana? In which Indiana greased her whip? No, 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 not a two on one. No, I did not sign up for this, man. My God, how could you do that? Where's my backup at this time? It doesn't seem to be present. What do you want? You want me to turn around? Why? Why do you want me to turn around? Why Why should I show my back to the camera? I, I, I don't quite follow. Is it because that's what Joseph wants? Hmm? No, no, completely unrelated. Okay, I guess I'll turn around. What, what, what do you want me to do? Hmm? Do you want me to bend over like this? Hmm, I sense something is a little odd. Okay, so what, what now, huh? What are you gonna do now? Did you just tap me then from behind? I don't think I asked for that. Hmm? I see what's going on. I see what's going on. You're trying to implement new techniques on me. No, 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 no. That does not work. What? Turn around again. There's a surprise. Where? Where's that surprise, huh? I cannot see it. Ah! 